No matter what type of business you run, you no doubt have plenty of bills to pay. Rent, electricity, staff wages, taxes, the list can seem almost endless. Normally, when a bill is due, you pay for it with money you have in your business bank account. But what if you have a large bill coming up, your bank account is empty, and you don't have access to an overdraft or credit card? Should you sell some of the shares you own on the stock market? Should you quickly reduce your inventory by having a sale? Or should you call a few customers who owe you money and see if they can pay now? While you may not have access to all of these options, depending on what type of business you run, there's probably at least one way you can get some money into your bank account fairly quickly by converting something called a current asset into cash. You see, all of these things, cash at bank, stocks or shares, inventory and accounts receivable, are current assets. In other words, they are things a business owns that are either cash or are likely to be converted into cash in less than 12 months. A full list of current assets would also include prepaid expenses and any other short-term investments that can be quickly converted into cash. So as you can see, knowing the value of your current assets is important because it gives you an idea as to whether you will be able to pay any bills that you need to in the short term. In other words, if you look at your balance sheet and you see very little in the way of current assets, but you know you have a lot of bills to pay soon, you can quickly see that your business is not in good shape. You can use this knowledge to decide how you're going to deal with the problem. Will you try to get an overdraft on your bank account? Will you apply for a credit card? Will you ask your creditors for more time to pay their bills? Will you invest your personal money into the business? Or is there something else you can do? On the other hand, if you look at your balance sheet and you see lots of cash in the bank and other current assets that easily take care of your bills, you can rest easy knowing that your business is in good shape, at least in the short term. So that's it for current assets. To find out what a non-current asset is and what the difference between current and non-current assets are, check out the links to our videos in the description below. Also, check out our channel for videos on other types of assets, liabilities, and how to compare them with financial ratios that are used to assess the health of your business.